This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. So back to live, actual live on Twitch, recording commentary and all of that. And we're gonna start with the GT All-Stars Championship, a prestigious race event that attracts skillful drivers and super fast cars from all over the world. Put the pedal to the metal and aim for third place or higher. But we're gonna aim for first. What's up, Elsie? So we need a supercar for this because it's all pretty much supercars in the field. And I'm gonna drive like the sexiest supercar of them all. And that is the 2012 Lexus LFA Nürburgring package because we drove the re regular LFA in GT5 and I'm getting an orange because it looks freaking gorgeous in this car. So I was talking about my shirt, Donkey Kong Country. Uh, John says he's completed DKC years ago. He's never played DKC, DKC two or three. Um, so I love DKC, but no, we're not driving the Audi Streamline. Fuck the Audi Streamline. I'm never driving that car again. Anyone who's, who watches on YouTube, you know I say I'm never driving that fucking car again. It's almost yellow. Well, it's called orange, so fuck it. Anyways, GT All-Stars Championship. Five rounds. We have High Speed Ring, Africa Hill Raceway, Mount Panorama, Brands Hatch, and Grand Valley Speedway. And all five laps. And here we go. So, yeah, when it comes to DKC, I love Donkey Kong Country. But it's not high up on my list in terms of favorite Super Nintendo games or, like, favorite platformers even. Just because, like, I personally love games that have exploration and stuff. But when it comes to exploration, like with Super Mario World, for example, when you do exploration, you find a bunch of new levels and stuff. And those new levels take you to a whole, a whole bunch of different parts of the map. But in DKC, the exploration is all about mini games and i'm not the biggest fan of mini games like i don't care about matching the same you know matching the the kong letters or matching like the same the same um pictures and stuff i don't really care hey what's up fanboy i'm i don't get too excited about it more power yeah slightly slightly more power and a wang also the lfa is just really nice in general it's a gorgeous car but yeah, like that's why DKC it's it's not my favorite. It's, it's not anywhere near my favorite SNES game of all time or like or just favorite platformers even if you narrow down the the um the genres or like yeah, the genres for favorite insert here. Hey, what's up, Dan? What if I don't match all the TMC letters together? You get banned. No, I'm kidding. What's up, dude? Hope you had a good holiday, man. Hope all of you had a good holiday. The pain from driving the Auto Union? I mean, if you find a good setup, it could be good in the turns, but... Dude, it, it's it's a good car. It's just... It's not meant for turning. So... Obviously, me complaining about the car not turning is pretty irrelevant, but... I'm still gonna complain anyways. You saw an LFA in person? Nice. I've saw one before, like, at a Cars and Coffee before. The LC? Yeah, the LC's a... Oh, shit. Saved it. <laughs> um, yeah, the LC's cool. But, dude, the LFA's probably up there with my favorite supercars of all time. I just... Dude, the sound is awesome. The It looks really cool. Like... Dude, it's, it's such a badass car. But yeah, Fanboy says he's not interested. I mean, like I said, DKC is a great game, but it's nowhere near my favorite because of the reason I said. Like, And then also, I felt like the stages were difficult, which isn't a problem. Like, that's the, I love challenge in any, um, what's it called? Um, platformer. But um, I'm, I'm not crazy about mini games like that. Like, I, I know that's, I know that's like a typically a rare, a rare thing. So you see it in DK64, you see it in Banjo-Kazooie, but like, I don't know, I, I would rather play Banjo-Kazooie than DKC, just preference, and if I wanted to play another platformer 2D side-scroller in general, I'd play Super Mario World or Super Metroid, because Super Metroid's my favorite SNES game now. Used to be Super Mario World, but Super Metroid is now my favorite. From being MR, hmm. I wouldn't know. I just like car, bro. I don't know what. I don't know much. 
at least we're catching up to the field. I mean, considering the fact that the Veyron is the pole sitter and we're at high speed ring, high speed track, that's what it's known for. Also, two of the sexiest cars next to each other. Let's go. Donkey Kong Country in the 3DS? Well, that's different. Donkey Kong Country Returns is a completely different game. I'm talking about the original Super Nintendo one. I've never played DKC Returns. Although I want to. Oh, the Veyron's not even... Okay, so who's leading then? That's my question. We're five seconds behind. We're gaining time, at least. Fuck, we don't have grip in turn one, and I'm almost losing it all the time. Tropi oh, Tropical Freeze! That's one as well, yeah. I forgot about that one. I've seen it. I haven't played it. I just started DKC2, like, not, not too long ago, on the on the Switch, on the, um, what's it called, the uh, SNES Classic Collection that, they, that comes with the membership. The speed tool for having the PP bug. Yeah, what's up, Jason? Jason, go to sleep. Or did, or did you stay up um, crushing more energy drinks like usual? <laughs> No. <laughs> All right. Make yourself at home. Dude, it is. I can't wait to do the NASCAR championship because honestly, the, the NASCAR championship is probably the funnest uh, championship in this entire game, in my opinion, just because like the lower horsepower simulates plate raising as best as, as GT6 can possibly do. And then also the the road course track selection is perfect. Also, Motegi as well. Motegi Super Speedway. So, yeah. That, that gets a plus one for me. You're just going to lurk. Enjoy yourself, man. G212. Yeah, I mean, I like both versions. That See, that's another thing. Like, okay, people were complaining about Trial Mountain G7 being reprofiled and extended and everything. But literally, High Speed Ring was, was reprofiled for 4 and 4 through 6 as well. It's... It's longer than the original version, and yet nobody complains about that. But of course, it's because nostalgia, and because GT4, 5, and 6 are nostalgic. Okay, I don't want to lose this race due to a lack of power. We're good. With a correct opinion. <laughs> I mean, like I said, I like both. I don't really mind either one or the other. I think they're both pretty good. You try to maintain your sanity doing the oval races. I mean, yeah, they are pretty tough. Daytona is actually really tough in this game because the the suck is actually massive. Also, why do I have a sneaking suspicion that um, why do I have a sneaking suspicion that the tire compound is like sport softs? We're on sport hards. Anyways, Africa Hills next. We're on sport hard tires, but I have a sneaking suspicion that the um. Is that the tire compound is sport softs. One to two looks more appealing. Ah, okay. Scenery wise, yeah. Let me guess, fanboy. Hong Kong? Because Hong Kong you need like a you need actually need to do strategy at that race. 18 laps and the tire wear is actually pretty high. <laughs> yes. Very nice, dude. A touring car track? I mean Dude, Africa Hill is pretty much it's the track. It's everything. Okay, hold on. I'm going to go to... Okay, we can't see there. Oh, what? Racing hards? Everyone's on racing hards here? Okay, I, I guess we'll do sports softs. Just because we're cheap. And then also just to make it more challenging. Even though we're making it easier technically now. Because we still beat them with... Whatchamacallit? Um... We still beat them with uh, Sport Hearts, but whatever. At least we'll have grip now. Also, regular LFA. Hello. 
Are you saying that, John, because of the um, Super Touring Championship in GT2 that had Africa Hill? Which is nothing wrong with that, because uh, that championship was one of the coolest. Hopefully for that, I have my friend Mushy on, on stream with me, because even though he's a little bit more... He's a little bit more... I, I wouldn't say MIA, but he's, like, being more low-key recently, just because, you know, he feels like it. And also, whatever's going on, um, it'd be nice to have him on, because he absolutely loves that BTCC, JTC, JTCC era of racing from, like, the 90s. Not really about high-end. Oh, I see. So it's just your own pr personal preference, then. Whoop. Getting held up by the Ferrari. The other Dan? Yes, the other Dan. You'll redo a race? I mean, I've won the New York 200 when I was in high school with the Honda NSX, a completely stock one, and I won it on, on the strategy. The expect points were 200 for that one. I may or may not try to do that again. And then also I did cheat a little bit because I did put one of the AIs into the wall. Paris Reverse? I like Paris Reverse. I like Paris in general. I think Opera Paris is one of the finest tracks. I know it's a bit of a hot take and people hate Opera Paris, but I think it's one of the finest tracks in my opinion. You like Paris too? Yeah, Paris are delicious, bro. And they're nutritious. But, um... That's a take? What, you don't like Paris? I want to go to Paris. You don't agree? Uh, look, I like pears. My favorite fruit are mangoes, but mangoes are really sugary, so I don't try to have too many mangoes nowadays. You hate pears? Oh, you hate Paris. What, the city or the track? Because I like Opera Paris. I think it's one of the funnest courses, just because I'm I'm a, I'm a huge sucker for street courses, and I, I love, I just love like getting close to the walls and stuff, and just try to extract every little inch out of the track. Maybe because I like Long Beach so much, because bias home track after all, being from Southern California. So yeah, you know like how tight it gets at the end. I I actually do. <laughs> Motorcycles? Uh, I, I don't think so, John. <laughs> I think they'll be... I, I, I think... Motorcycles at Opera Paris and George V Paris would be a little bit too much. Because the tracks are not wide enough. I don't know, like... I feel like like the way you have to turn in in, in, in a bike, like I don't think it would be that good. Well, do the, um, I don't know, if you want, do the two horsepower, two CV championship, because I think round three or whatever is Opera Paris reverse, and you're in a slow-ass car, so, like, even though it's a slow car, you're still getting yourself a little bit more familiar with the track, and you're not jumping into the deep end of the pool, racing LMP1s around there, or Group Cs, whatever the field is consisting of, or whatever you're driving. See Teddy Urea? I, I like the track. I'm a fan. Well, okay. The R89? Oh, okay. God damn, the AI is slow. Such a slow boy. Come on. Thank you. Always loved it. I love it too. Not my favorite McLaren. That goes to the F1 the long the the long uh, boy version long tail long boy whatever the proper term is it's not long boy for sure it's long tail but um yeah the long tail F1 is my favorite Minolta at Paris 
Yo, Minolta at Paris, it, dude, that's a good combo. Dude, Opera Paris in general is just, like, like I said, it's fun. Like, that's why I want to play the Japanese version of GT4, because I want to do the um, S11 exam where you're driving the Pescarolo LMP1 around Opera Paris instead of the Renault Clio. That sounds like fun. Or the Sauber around Nürburgring. That sounds like a blast, dude. Uh, it has a V10, I believe, John. Don't, don't quote me on that. I could be wrong, but again, I don't know shit about cars because I'm stupid. It's pain. Well, pain for you, fun for me. Dude, you're talking to Reaper. You're talking to somebody who literally used the auto union at Monaco and spent four hours of their time over the course of three days trying to win the freaking historic racing car cup with with the auto union and managed to do it and i didn't stream it because not only was i doing finals and i was doing it during like my my breaks from studying but also because i was literally getting frustrated and angry and like i don't want to get angry on stream i'm pretty sure like i'm pretty sure some of you will get a laugh out of it some of you will probably be like oh i don't like this vibe and then mostly anyone who wants to like troll me or whatever like they want me to do like a look here look listen they probably want me to get mad at a game so <laughs> like nah that's messy. <laughs> fair point reaper fair point i mean the minosa is a cool car and everything but in real life it was garbage it didn't really it didn't do anything in the world sports car championship yes my glue And there we go. That's race number two done with this LFA. The LFA is Bay or something. 40K. We're getting our money back from spending, I think, what, 400K on this car? Which we're not going to make all of our money back. But, uh, yeah. I'll save a replay. Why not? Hey, what's up, Rush? So, race number three, where are we at again? Is it Grand Valley or is it Brands Hatch? I can't remember. Oh, no, it's Mount Panorama. Yep, Mount Panorama. There we go. But wait, how do you not like... Okay, how do you not like Opera Paris be like George V? They're both... George V is even tighter. George V has literally no passing opportunities. Unless you just chuck the car inside. Hey, Mikhail. Mikhail, would you like to join me for a voice chat session um, tonight? Because if you do, I will s literally skip the order of the IA license events and we'll go straight to Super GT if you're down to chat. Bathtub. Bro, don't talk about your home track like that. Because aren't you from Australia or something? I can't say that with a straight face. <laughs> Help. Mom, mom, come pick me up. I'm scared. Pinkum is going to come get me now. This is not your home track. What's your home track? If you don't mind sharing. Cause I, I know, I, I know you're from New Zealand, dude. The LFA is your favorite car. Dude, I was just saying that like in the intro for the LP recording for YouTube, I, I said, um, probably my favorite supercar of all time. One of them. Yes, dude. Dude, that's what I'm saying. The LFA is such a cool car. Dude, this thing is badass. Like, how can I not select this car? Like, I love Doug DeMiro's review on it. Bro, New Zealand has a crop of really talented drivers. I mean, the only ones I really know are Scott Dixon and Scott McLaughlin. But also, I think Fabian Coolhart's from New Zealand, if I'm not mistaken. He's pretty good. Also, obviously, Bruce McLaren. Oh, no way! That's sick, dude. So, the actual track named after McLaren. Dude, that's badass. Oh, fuck. Whoops. That's what I get for reading chat. Also, Rush. Remember the PTSD from us racing here in Super Cup?
It's a legal requirement, yes. It says so in, in, in the Department of Motor Vehicles handbook. That was your first race with- Dude, that was my first race with DNA and I- and I fucking mur- I killed myself on the last corner last lap trying to pass you. <laughs> Not last corner, the- the chicane on the backstretch there. But I wasn't even mad, dude. The race was so bad, like, the- the conduct on- on track was so atrocious that I didn't even care. I was like, you know what, dude? I would have been my first top split- I, I say top split in air quotes because a lot of the people who were competing regularly, like Eric GTR and Holman, they all skipped. It would have been first top five, but I, I didn't really care, dude. Am I actually be racing in GTS? Uh, yes. So, I was looking at Kudos Prime's website today. I'm probably going to be wrong. But they posted, like, two weeks worth of racing, so I have no idea if... And they had, like... The date says January 3rd and January 5th for those two sets of A, B, and C races. So, either A, they messed up the dates, but they just got two weeks of racing, you know, in advance. Or B, PD's going uh, going to, like, a bi-daily format in 2021. If they go to a bi-daily format, fuck yes, because I'll be doing some GT Sports, more GT Sports streams. Yes, dude, Route X Nations hype. I See, what I want to do for New Year's Eve is... If I can, that is. I gotta talk to my brother. But, um... I, I really want to do a... A, a Root X um, open lobby. Like, I think that'll be fun for New Year's Eve. Or just, like, maybe some dirty group free racing. Just something interactive. Like, get some AMS boys, PX7 boys, DNA guys. Like, everybody. Everybody, actually. Anyone. It doesn't matter who. That sounds awful. Uh, it's awful, but fun. Mikhail's really good at setting up those lobbies. Because he, he was doing some lobbies with, um... Your laptop died? Rest in peace, laptop. I hope it lived a good life. Oh, fuck. Not again. The same shit, just like Super Cup. No! That was me trying to pass Rush. Recreated in, um... December 2020 instead of August... Yeah, dude. I mean, so Mikhail has, like, I think he set up a lobby with AMS one time where they were doing um, Mach 40s, I want to say. Look at the road. Bro, I got to read chat, though. They were doing Mach 40s, and, like, the racing looks so dumb, but it looks so fun. There's a lobby going in GT5. Well, I don't have... I don't have the GT5 Master Mod yet. And also, we're doing a playthrough of GT6. 100% playthrough. Yeah, I really want in, dude. Dude, on Christmas Eve, I was fucking drunk off my ass, dude. I, I would say I was about like a 7 or 8. Like, the, the drunkest I've ever gotten was... Um, when I was at the uh, FIA Gran Turismo Americas final in Vegas in 2018, that was probably I was probably like a 9.5 at that time, but I was probably I was probably a, a, a eight or like an eight and a half on Christmas Eve, and I was dude I made a drunk purchase of Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2010 because I was watching PX7 play NFS on Grove Stream, and like I was like dude I gotta get in this that was so fun that was me at an eight, <laughs> uh y yes, dude I'm telling you. Vegas, I was fucked up. Mach 40, Comfort Hards, 50 times tire wear. Oh, fucking hell. That sounds awful, but I want in on that. That sounds completely terrible, but that sounds like fun. Look, I... Dan, I know, I know the joke. I, I know it's a joke, but don't don't use that word, please. Like in a in that kind of manner, please. I know you meant no harm, but but still. But you know, and I think in fairness, I'd say it was more of an eight point five. I was pretty. I think I'm being nice to myself. 
because like I, I, I looked at some of the messages I sent people I was just like oh god dude so like okay I literally messaged like 20 or 30 people here and then also texting people just being like hey you're awesome and I love you <laughs> that's pretty much and like I, I couldn't spell for shit and then like the most notable conversations were this. Um, so I told Lamb that I went to Vegas. I told him, the, I was like, bro, bro, it's okay. Because the last time I was this trash, I was in Vegas. And he was just like, wait, 2018 Vegas, what? And then I spent like like 30 minutes with my best friend from, from university. Just saying like, like, hey, you're the best person I ever met in school. And you're my best friend. And then she replied and she told me, bitch, no, you're my best friend. And I was like, no, you're my best friend. And she was like, nope, you're my best friend. Imagine us doing that for like half an hour straight. <laughs> Because she was actually drunk as hell as well. Because she got drunk with her sister. <laughs> yeah, do you know I was drunk as fuck? Yeah, of course. Also, excuse me. Nice horn. I never checked the horns on this course. I keep forgetting. Not to call- Dude, call me out. I don't care. Bro. I, I was trashed, like... Of course, tell me. Of course, call me out. Hey, you were fucked up because you couldn't spell. I, I, I don't care. Like, I wasn't embarrassed at the fact I was reading those messages that I sent. I was just cracking up. I was like, okay. But see, like, I have control when I drink. Like, I, I don't, I, I don't like do anything erratic. And like, when I, I know when my, I know what my limit is. I know when to stop. Like, I had six shots of tequila and some rum, and I was like, okay, that's it. No control of my thumbs. Yes, clearly. Well, I had control of the things I was saying, but just no, no control over the spelling. Because I'm pretty sure they like... I'm pretty sure I just, like... Quickly typed it out, not even checking, and I just sent it. Like, not fucking caring. That was pretty much my thought process at the time. Trying to decipher some messages. Well, the human mind works in crazy ways. Like... I forget, I think I saw, I think it was in my psychology class in community college, where, like, my professor had put up on the board, like, sentences for us to read out loud, but she, like, mixed up some of the letters, like, put some letters backwards, or replaced some letters with numbers, or mixed up some of the, the order of, like, the, the letters for words, and your mind can still read them. Like, you can still read them pretty easily, so I, I imagine that it must have been not too difficult for most of you to read my messages. <laughs> I see Reaper. Cool, 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 Mikhail. We still got this championship and we have the one mix to do and I have to get my IA license. So, like I said, whenever you're down, I'll literally um, go out of order and we'll I'll get straight to Super GT. Because I know you love Super GT racing. Dude, thank you for being here in 2020, man. Like, <laughs> probably tomorrow morning. So, like, look, I I'm probably going to stream for, for a while, honestly. Now that I think about it, because, honestly, like, I'm not... I I'm, I'm not going to beat around the bush here. Like, basically, like, while I'm going to go see a friend tomorrow, because we pushed back our meetup from, from Friday to Sunday, because I mentioned on stream earlier, I, I want to stream GT1. That a friend of mine's in trouble and, you know, mentally, and I want to go visit them to just check up on them, you know, just to, you know, go, go see them and just make sure they're good, right? And um, tomorrow, what I'm going to do before I see them is I'm probably going to record a 2020 recap video. And I'm just going to say this right now as, like, a prelim, I suppose, is that, like, when I say that, I, I don't want to diminish the fact that 2020 was horrible for so many people, but... 2020 was probably the best year of my life because it was the year that I turned my life around in so many aspects and I met so many incredible amazing people this year and since I came back to streaming also I met some incredible supporters so such as yourself John so like thank you like you guys are part of the reason why 2020 was so special for me even you know and missed the and missed the global pandemic so thank you which I'll get into all of that when I record my video tomorrow but um, I will probably cry in that video. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> or I'll probably just cut. Maybe I'll just cut out the parts I actually cry. Or maybe the, like, the long pauses. Because like... 
When I make videos like that, I never ever want to like leave just holes. Like I, I, I like just I don't want to waste time. I guess I want to like get to the point. Like that's kind of my thing when I make when I make vids and stuff. You know, <laughs> like like in all seriousness. Of course, John, and of course, Rush. Anyways, round number four, Brands Hatch. Uh, I'm gonna stick with the hood cam because I really like Grand Valley Speedway. Jason, what the hell is? Thanks, dude. I really like Grand Valley, and because we don't have it in GT Sport yet, so that will be cockpit cam. Yep, it is an All Star race after all, so. Well, it. Yeah, it sort of is kind of world championship ish because we are going around to different places. No, 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 no. Oh, actually, that's suspend, not quit. What was I trying to do? I don't even know what I was trying to do there. Hey, Tusha, what's up? The limp pee pee man. Well, bust. That was that's a picture I'll never get out of my head now. Thank you. Oh my god, the last time I drove this track was um, Christmas Eve on M my boy Mr. MCA. He was doing some open lobbies around here with Group Forest. I had such a good battle with, um, if any of you watch Cyrus, you guys will know Fake Taxi, who's one of the guys who does um, racing from the back with us, or as he's known in chat, Dimitar. We had such a good race here until he spun, unfortunately. We were literally like... Nose to tail the entire way. He was driving a Porsche Cayman. I was driving a Mustang Group 4. Yes, Reaper? Hey, Reaper. You know what I... You know I gotta watch Osiris? Oh, who is that? I don't know anybody who watches Osiris. I don't think anyone knows who Osiris is. If you don't know who Cyrus is, uh, that's Tyranno Cyrus Rex. He's the world's greatest Twitch streamer. And the world's biggest sweetheart. Chaosonic Skyline GTR. Oh, okay. John, have you... Okay, I know you said you watched Brand Stash Race. Did, did you ever watch the, um, the London Champ Car Trophy? Which is the, um... I think it's like 150 laps from the champ car slash cart series around the Brands Hatch Indie course. I I never watched it as a kid. No? Okay, that's when you have to add to the list. Don't... I'm not saying this because it's a good race or anything. I'm just saying because, you know, you mentioned um, you watched a bunch of Brands Hatch races. So add that one to your list. Um, I have no idea if the race is good or not. I never watched it as a kid either. Only reason why I remember it is because that was Bo uh, Sebastian Bourdais first champ car win. But um, I just always thought it was crazy that they went to Brands Hatch, they went to the Indy circuit, and then they never went back. Oh fuck. This isn't a race car, remember. What's the one? God damn it, two show. I see what you're doing. Fuck. Oh yeah, DTM did race around here. Wasn't that like a one-off or a two-off? You still remember the first time you raced Cyrus? Did you race him in a daily? Hey, JC, what's up, dude? Red and white JTTC Supra. Oh, you mean the uh, the Denzo Sard Supra? That's a good one. Whoops, I forget for reading chat. Oh, I killed the Veyron. Haha, -ha. take that, super expensive car. Hides from Reaper. <laughs> Reaper, why are you even watching my stream? Shouldn't you be telling me that you're gonna go watch um, the Cycling Judica or something? Can you please just be disrespectful and tell me, like, fine, I'm gonna go watch somebody else? Bro, why am I even streaming? Guys, I'm gonna go watch Ninja. Because I like Fortnite. A super... Dude! Me too! That's a lifelong goal. That and Super Formula. Just a race in Japan in general. Even if it's Super Taiku. 
or like it doesn't matter what the race is even if it's just club racing dude killing the bear on splashing into water you think you'll go watch fortnite okay disrespectful reaper jeez Oh, dude, yes. JP, dude, JP is like, he's the man. We, we need, a, like, we need an American driver who lives in Japan that races only in Japan. Like, I feel like there's always, like, one representative. Like, Eric Comas, you know, the F, the former F1 driver when he won two back-to-back -back Super GT titles. I think he was kind of like the Formula Nippon slash JGTC guy. I know he won with the Pennzoil team or whatever team that is. He won with the R33 and the 34. Like he was like the only French guy there at the time, I believe, and JP is like the only Brazilian there at the time in Japan. That that's pretty crazy. Yo, what's up, Tank? You have acquired video game? Ooh, what'd you get? Thanks, Rush. Enjoy your enjoy yourself, dude. That was a direct Nismo entry. Ooh, okay, yeah, no shit. No shit, I'm an idiot, because Pennzoil Nismo GTR. Ooh, nice. I'm not too familiar with, with the history of JGTC, John. I don't really recall who that is. If you drive in Super GT, oh. For me, it'd be 500, solely for the fact that, like, those GT500 cars are literally, like, the only, you know, like, you can only get them, or you can only race them there. Like, the 300s, yes, you do have the JAF ones, but, you know, I feel like half the field is JAF cars, and then the other half is, like, regular GT3s. Nothing went wrong with GT3s, but the GT500s are just, they look so wicked to drive. Wait, what? Okay, John, I I know about I I know there's been some weird GT5 or just JGTC cars in general like like that STP Tyson Viper was like a JGTC one-off for the Dodge for for Dodge and then I know the um I know they made an Aston Martin DBR9 into a GT500 spec. I didn't even know that. That's freaking crazy. Wait, no way. Really? Yeah, it is. It is bust. Dude, I have to see that Reaper, please. That's mad. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forgot that they did um, grid starts at the time. Didn't they stop doing um, grid starts because of that Fuji race? I, I know about that Fuji race where I think there was like a big crash at the beginning in Fu like in the rain. On, like I think it was a grid start maybe? I'm not sure. I don't really remember. There was like a big fireball? 1998 Fuji? Yeah. Alright, I gotta see this. So three more stars. Oh, dude, that's insane. Also, we win the championship by... I don't know how many points it's going to be, but it's going to be quite quite a lot towards the end. Yeah, Grand Valley is the finale. So that's the Lancia. And then this is the... Oh, they're both the Lancias. Okay. Regardless, though, that's crazy, dude. Dude, that's so nuts. Ah, uh, yes. It was only the first season. Yeah, it's going to be like 115 points. Something like that. But, um... Dude, that's insane. Alright, back to cockpit view. Yeah, I mean... 
all-wheel drive, everybody else was what? FR or MRs and they would just lose out. It would be cool, John. Honestly, it'd be cool for all the tracks to have that. But like, I think that GT5 Master Mod could, I think you could actually make every track day and night. I'm not sure about that. Group AR32, yeah, basically. Like my understanding, even without looking at all that, is that wasn't GT500 pretty much like just like open entry it didn't really have any rules yet until like maybe the mid 90s is is isn't that my is my understanding of that correct yeah Assetto Corsa there's a actually I'm not sure about AC but I know in Art Factory there was a really good um, Grand Valley mod it looked just like the GT1 variant like billboards and all well I know what I'm watching before I go to bed tonight Apart from porn. Well, that is porn. That's car porn at that point. So, yay. Breaking broken cars. Yes. So, basically, what you're saying is that the R32s during the first year of JGTC are, are pretty much like the equivalent of, of Group 4 FF cars right now. GT1, GT2. Okay. So they didn't really have any rules necessarily like that yet. Okay, got it. I love how the Corvette is struggling to get around the Viper here. Oh, God. Well, that was a fail. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. We still have a lot of the race to go anyways to win. Please excuse my horrible driving. I'm literally reading the chat and uh, talking. It's another excuse of mine. I'm full of excuses like PX7 Grove said. Yo, what's up, Sob? Makes sense. I mean, I'm only going by Gran Turismo here, but we had the 96 um, Castrol uh, Tom Supra in um, GT1 and 2. So I, I was only assuming that, you know, the GT500 spec started around that time. Dude, that would be amazing, John. That would be incredible. Like, like a, a long endurance. Like, okay, the Grand Valley 300 is already a cool endurance and everything, but um, like a 24 around here would be sick. It is, Saab. It is. Can you tell by the very nice growl of the engine and the interior and also the fact that it says it in the in the field right there. There. I can't point. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Makes sense, Bust. I mean... More downforce, so more drag. Us oh, sucks, JC. See, I tried to do the multi streaming for YouTube, but I can't disable the YouTube chat. That's the only unfortunate part, because, like, I don't really want to read two chats at once, and I don't want to also, like, I don't want to have my mods monitor two chats. Like, I I feel like my mods are already, like, they're already doing enough for one chat. I know some, like, one of my mods is cool with monitoring two chats, but, you know, I can't ask all my mods to monitor two separate chats. It's just too much. Bro, the pink LFA is a good-looking car. No cap. It's, it's really nice. Like, I bought it in yellow because... Or orange, I guess. Because it looks really good in that color. Uh... I don't... I usually issue mods myself, JC. 
And even then, like I said, it's kind of like a majority thing. Like, I, I ask all my mods separately. It won't... I don't know, dude. I disabled the chat, and then it's still active. I tested it. Like, the last stream I did, I, I gave it a run, and... It didn't disable the chat, even though it literally said the box, chat disabled. Which is dumb, but I, I don't know. It's YouTube being YouTube. Stonksent. Oh, you're going to paint one yourself? Aren't there already mods for that? Like Formula RSS or something? Formula Hybrid? I, I can't remember what the mods are called. Ooh, what did you do? Which, uh, what skins were you responsible for? My friend Mushy is really good at, um, painting skins for, like, R Factor or Automobilista. Like, I've seen some of his work and... Members only? Well, if I made it members only, then th that would be super unfair. Like, that means I would have to enable members and super chat and stuff, and I would- I don't want to enable super chat, especially- or end memberships, especially when I'm not- when streaming on YouTube is not my primary focus for streaming. Like, you- the- the purpose of my YouTube channel is for video uploads and VODs, which I need to work on that. <laughs> I don't have an excuse now, I have literally a month before the next semester starts, so I can- I can spend my month actually finally recording commentary for all- for a lot of my offline FIA races. But, um, yeah, point is, is that, um, I don't want to enable members only, you know, because if I enable members only, and I, you can only tell people so much, don't, you know, don't sign up for a membership or on screen or something, but no one, no one is necessarily going to listen. Like, for example, when Jimmy Broadbent streams on Twitch, like, when he's doing just chatting or he's playing, like, Cyberpunk or whatever, he always has on screen, give your Twitch Prime sub to, like, Nate Lupson or, or Bacho Grande, but, like... That doesn't necessarily mean people are going to listen or, or do what, you know, what he says. People would still pay for memberships and I still feel terrible about that because I'm not, I'm not putting my focus onto YouTube for streaming. The purpose of my YouTube stream is literally just to give people an opportunity who don't want to come to Twitch or who can't watch at a high resolution because of Twitch being Twitch and let them watch on a low resolution. Ugh, that was a mouthful, but... Yeah, I hope my point was made clear. Dude, Jimmer stopped by um, this charity stream I was watching. So, like, if anybody hasn't followed Adventure Racing on YouTube, go follow Adventure Racing. He's such a sweetheart. He's a top lad. Like, Jimmer actually stopped... He actually found his stream and stopped by there today, and... Dude, his name is James, by the way, and and James was literally like fanboying over the fact that Jimmer was in his stream, and dude, it was so funny, and, and Jimmer was kind of giving him, you know, he was giving him just jokingly grief, like saying like, oh, your last place, SMH, but in reality, you know, he's just messing around. He was drinking a bit, but um, no, man, it, it was cool to see him there, and it was cool to see um, my boy James get all flustered, because I was like, dude, I, I told him, I was like, dude, I know the feeling, trust me, when Jimmer... When Jimmer stopped by my channel for the first time when I was streaming in 2018 and then he raided me January 2019, I I, I I, couldn't, like, find the words to explain how freaking awesome that was. He still watches my content to this day, which is surprising. I question myself, I'm like, why? But then again, I'm like, people enjoy it, I guess. So... But I, I need to start doing more. Like I said, I, I have no excuses now. I need to actually go and um, start recording some of those commentaries for my FIA races. Whoa. Yeah, it is, John, but I don't really look at it as like, a, oh, this is a major personality watching me. Like, Jimmer's a homie at this point, so like, it doesn't really... I don't really look at it that way anymore. It's just like, I understand that he has a big following and everything, but like... I don't really look at the number side, I look at, like, the person side. Fuck, dude, Rhino watching my shit makes me super happy because I've watched Rhino for the longest time. Anyways, we win the championship. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Miyazono's too good? Yes. Bro, please nerf Miyazono. Like, okay, this is how you nerf Miyazono. When you go to the GT World Tour, instead of, like, how many degrees of steering is the TGT? Like, 1080? 
I'm not sure if the game GT Sport uses 10, all 1080 or if they use 900. But um, regardless of whatever the steering angle is, if it's 1080, make it 1060. And if it's 900, make it 880 or something. Just make it off by 20 degrees and that's how you BOP Miyazono. <laughs> then again, he's just going to pull off a strategy and like do like three stops on softs and then one on hard, one on medium. He's still going to win anyway, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Because he's too good. Oh, that's right. I forgot. When you win the GT All-Stars, you get this cool little screen. Where you're on the podium. Yeah, we're on the podium. And there's our gorgeous LFA. A PLP 50. Fuck yeah. Yes. <laughs> that's how you BOP him. That and then also um, make the brake the clutch. Make the gas the brakes. And then make the clutch the um, the gas. Did I say that right? Yeah, that's the, that is the first place jingle from GT5. I forgot. Anyways, all IB races complete. That's not the finale. Shut up, game. We win this bad boy. Ooh, the Lamborghini Diablo GT2. Fuck yeah. I forgot that was a thing. We're definitely using this bad boy at some point. I don't know when. I have to look at my list. Because I know for my list, I do have some spots open. But, um... Yeah. So, yes, International A License has been unlocked, but there is one more thing we have to do in the IB License at this current time. So, we're currently 60% of the way done. Only 40 more percent of Gran Turismo 6. So, yeah. One makes her next. 